pacing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin But we fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me in Just me, just you Gems, hi, it's Karen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello. I'm really glad you clicked on this video. I do hope that you will stay and decide to subscribe by the end of the video. So today, because we're going to be getting it in BoxyCharm, I already got it on add-ons, the Persona Identity 2 palette. So we're going to do a review on this today. And if it's something that you want to see, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first time using Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 palette and um, some of you guys have said that you've tried the first one and you like it and I'm like okay I was pretty impressed with the swatches so I decided I wanted to do a look I do know this is going this was in add-ons for $12 but I believe it said it was in like November premium or something like that um, I can check too and put that on the screen but I thought we would do a look with it and we would we would check out these colors and uh, see how well um, Persona Cosmetics Identity 2 palette performs. So let me get some brushes here and uh, we're going to get started. I'm thinking like let's go all out and let's do tape and let's make these lines awesome straight beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some of my sephora this is like a masking tape if you've got masking tape at home it'll work just the same and i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the outer part of my eye where with a relaxed eye where i want it i want my eyeshadow to extend up a little bit and I can do it without the tape, of course, but a lot of you are makeup newbies and you like the tape. And it's easier, I'll be honest with you. It's easier to do it this way. Now this type of tape will not take off your makeup. So in case you were wondering, you should not have to worry about that. And we want to make sure it is even and I think this needs to be up here. Yes, now we are good to go. So basically I wanna do the outer part of my eye kind of dark and you've got a mixture of shimmers and mattes in here, which I love. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a Morphe brush. This is like from the 24 main event collection and I'm gonna take Limitless a little bit of kick up tap it off and I'm gonna put limitless out here yes we're starting here you can start your eyeshadow however you want and for me I like mapping out what I'm doing and that's placing color in the areas from, okay this is how I want my eyes to look today now mind you sometimes I'll change midway and that happens and it's totally okay you can do that but really what i want is this outer part dark and i'm going to go ahead along side of the tape here to give that nice little line it's going to leave that's what i'm in the mood for that's what we're going to do so basically i'm patting this color in We will work on blending and we'll have to do it a specific way, but we'll get into all that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another brush and we're going to go in. And this one I want like kind of like a sweeper kind of brush, like this one here. This is from the Morphe, um, I think it's the 35 Oasis collection. And what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take, oh, there's some empowered, independent, confident. 
there's this pretty gold in here, but I'm not thinking I'm tan enough to pull off gold. So what I think I'm gonna do is go in with Empowered. And I'm tapping my brush down, tapping it off, and right where I ended off with that black is where I am going to put this color. I have not touched setting spray. I wanted to see how the pigment performs. This is a pretty color. Yes, I like it. Okay. Same thing over here. I'm gonna work this color in. You do not need to do all those swiping motions. For certain looks, yes, but I want you to realize that placing down the color and almost like stippling it in um, is a great way to not get too much pigment everywhere. You can go back and blend in circular motions and stuff, and I'll show you all that, but there's just so many different techniques to doing your eyes. And I know a lot of people like are trying to do what the bigger YouTubers do and it doesn't always work for you. They have different eye shapes. They do things differently. You know, it's, it's really about your eye shape, your undertones for what colors that you choose and what works best for you. And I have yet to see this method not work on <laughs> anyone. All right, so let's do it. We got it. I'm liking. What do you guys think? Okay, so now we're gonna be focusing on the inner corner, right? And we're gonna do something a little bit lighter there, of course, because y'all know me. And if you don't, you're about to. We'll put down the transition shade first. You totally can do that if you want. Do you have to? No, no you don't. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a flat brush something like the short shader. This may not pick up the color real well. Sometimes it depends. Actually, this one should be good. And we're gonna go into Honest. Honest is this pretty light shimmer. Tapping her off. This is where I would expect to get some fallout. Look at that. Isn't that insane? Hi. So you just wanna work this in. If it starts to bunch up from having too much pigment on it, don't worry, you're gonna blend that out anyway. Okay. you guys find these tutorials helpful let me know because there's so much that I would love I would love to just like invite you in sit down and show you um, all of my makeup all my collection show you what colors you know might look good on you and all this other stuff and just have fun with it and that being that I I can't do that maybe one day I can um, talk to me tell me anything you want ask me anything you want okay so now I've got that color worked in and I'm looking at the three colors that I have here and I'm like okay it needs something so I'm gonna go in with this Farrah brush it's kind of like it's a, a blending brush but it's more like flat and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take passionate and that is a matte color <clears throat> And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start right here at the tip. And really, I'm buffing this out. So the edges don't look harsh. Just like that. Mm 
You don't have to bring it all the way in. Just to lighten things up right here. All right, now you want a blending brush that does not have anything on it. This is where the magic begins. All right, let's go in with this Morphe Times Nikita brush. Basically, we're gonna start right here. As you can see, I'm doing the lighter colors first. And even though I'm barely touching it, I don't want my colors to mix. I want them to stay where they are. So this would be the reason for going back and forth like this. Now we can add things, we can do whatever, you know? I'm really liking the pigments for sure. I think that these colors blended pretty well together too. Um, I definitely got to put on some liner and then we got to focus on underneath the eye. So let's, uh, let's get some liner. All right, I've got Kylie Jenner's black liner lower water line and a little bit on the lashes lash line okay now I want liquid for the top and I want that extra sharp kind of edge out there so my tart tardiest liquid the corner of my eye and just bring it up it doesn't have to be extravagant it's just defining that corner right there and then of course I'm going to bring it on in take your time oh that fly's been here for days you would think he would have been dead already always want to change the angle if you're going to go in further And then you're going to get to the part where fine detailing, finishing up the look, seeing what belongs, what you want to add, what you want to stand out. Like maybe making the inner corner a little brighter, that kind of thing. I'm going to make a small wing over here. Just so the liner flows nicely. And then we're going to take off our tape. Oh, there we are. And you can leave it like this, but you can also change it if you want to change it. Mm. I like for sure. Definitely. Okay, let me go ahead and get some other brushes and then we will go and start for the Okay, super important part. Remember that color we used for the transition shade? Passionate? I picked up that brush, the fair brush, and I went to blend right out here. So everything looks like it belongs together, but also so your eye looks lifted, and if you had the tape like maybe a little too far up, which I like to do because I like doing this method, you just go ahead in and blend it all out with that transition shade. And it should blend super nicely. Okay, so here's what I wanna do. I wanna clean up right here before I go ahead and do the underneath my eye. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Contrice concealer and I'm gonna put this right here as you can see it. Now I'm going to work it up, but I don't want it to look unnatural and I don't want to have too much product. So I put it down here and then I'm going to take a concealer brush 
And basically, what I'm going to do is work my way up using a couple different motions to clean that area up. See the difference? And then we'll go ahead and set it. Perfect. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, so I can set it with Jaclyn's brightening powder. So that's what I'm going to do. And I want that area to be kind of light anyway. So I'm going to go in with her. I think this is her almond. This is her almond. Caramel. Sorry, I was wrong. We're going in with caramel. And we're just going to stamp that in. Don't need to apply too much pressure. Really, you're just kind of laying it down. And now we're going to go ahead and do underneath the eye. Oh, I'm liking this palette. Persona, good job. All right. So let's go ahead and grab a stiffy. Do I have a stiffy over here? I might. I might not. I'm not sure. I'm kind of excited. I'm getting to the close to the final look. Here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to grab the Brow Bone Highlight Brush that um, Jacqueline has with Morphe. And I'm going to put a little setting spray on it. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with that Honest. And we're going to put that right here. And we're going to stop right here in this area. You got to figure out where your brow bone is. We don't want to bring it down because we want our eye to continue to look lifted. And you could even use this brush for the inner corner if you wanted to. It fits nicely and you might need to blend and push it up if you do. Go ahead. I'm going to bring this over and then we're going to move on and we want like a crease brush or a pencil brush at this point. Something like this. Let me make sure there's no color left on that. I am going to use setting spray to minimize fallout and to keep it from creasing and we're going to go in. What color do I want to put down? We're going to do Empowered first. Using the tip of that brush. The very tip. And it's going to mix with All the right. line. At some point, my camera shut off, so I apologize. But this is my finished look. If you have any um, questions, just put them down in the comments below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really like this palette. So if this is something you're going to be getting in Boxy, I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. I do have a video of me swatching all of these colors, so I'll link that in here in case that's something you want to see. And I will see you guys really soon in another video. Bye!